Now to a vicious fight between friends caught on camera. In the end, one was killed, the other arrested. And now, as Danny Monteverdi reports, the family of the victim is crying foul after the suspect was handed down a unique sentence. This is a picture of her and her sister that they took together. This is another picture of Brittany. Memories are all that Kimmy Seymour has of her daughter. Brittany Seymour was stabbed to death in the 300 block of Decatur Street in June 2017. It was a crime that was captured on cell phones. Police arrested Denisha Green for Seymour's slaying. The two were longtime friends, but got into a vicious fight as they celebrated Seymour's 22nd birthday. It put a dent in our family relationship. Green was eventually charged with manslaughter and aggravated battery. On Wednesday, she got a unique sentence, one year of weekends in jail and five years probation. Judge Camille Buris said that any failure of Green to show up here at the Orleans Parish Jail would land her behind bars for a decade. Eyewitness News legal analyst Chick Foray says the sentence is not common, but it's also not unheard of. It happens. I've seen it happen many times in the past. It doesn't happen every day. But Judge Buris, to her credit, fashioned what she thought was a very fair sentence given the facts that were presented to her. Jeff Smith, who represents Green, says he was pleased with the sentence, if a little surprised, since he says Green was acting in self-defense. I think that it was a, a sentence that made sense in the end to me, and I think even to Denisha and her family. And I'm hoping that um, the victim's family all are understanding about why these things happened. Oh, no, not at all. I didn't, you know, I wasn't looking for her to give her five-year probation in a weekend warrior. I was hoping that they'd give her the 10-year sentence. Kimmy Smith says a loss of weekends is no match for a loss of life. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Well, last year, the Orleans Parish DA's office said it, quote, agonized over the choice to reduce the charge from second degree murder. But the office said it thought that was the only way to make sure Green took responsibility for the death.